Good morning beautifuls, Nick from Naturally Nick here and this morning I want to talk about GMOs, genetically modified organisms and you might have heard that term thrown around and wondered what on earth they're talking about and it is a way that we have genetically modified some of our crops so it's not the um, hybridization or selective breeding that we've done for you know uh, centuries where you know you have a whole heap of tomato plants for example and and that one you know is the sweetest or the or the the juiciest and and so you save the seeds of those ones and then keep on breeding you know breeding but um, growing them so that's it, it's not that it's actually changing the genes so we have the technology to go in and change the genes of some of these crops and the reason um, why it's been so um, uh, sought after in you know man, uh, from a manufacturing point of view growing point of view is that they have managed to um, make some of these crops um, resistant to some diseases but also resistant to some of the um, the chemicals that have been sprayed on them and I, I will get to that in a minute so the thing that we you know is um, that they're concerned about with genetically modified foods is that there has been cases where um, like families they've done studies and families have come off genetically modified foods and found that they're healthier and and what are those things so there's, I've got a list here there's things like um, you know the allergies have gone um, they you know endocrine disorders have have sort of disappeared um, you know it, uh, there's um, reproductive disorders all sorts of things that haven't been scientifically proven but people have actually felt better had symptoms disappear when they've come off genetically modified foods so where do we find these genetically modified foods well they are um, a lot of them are grains so there's soy sunflower safflower um, corn canola and cottonseed they are the main ones and where do we find them? Well, good news for us because you find them in processed, packaged, takeaway uh, foods. So really, if you are on a, um, uh, a journey to uh, get a lot healthier and to you know, try and be optimally healthy, you're gonna be leaving those foods behind anyway. So it, it's not really um, a biggie. But, you know, it is if you have loved ones who are consuming a lot of those kinds of foods. Now, the other thing is that probably more um, importantly is that a lot of these, um, because they have been genetically modified, these grains have been genetically modified to resist um, uh, the chemicals that have been sprayed on them. One of those chemicals is um, Roundup and there's a substance in there called glyphosate. And that has been classified by the World Health Organization as a class 2A carcinogen, meaning there is a probable link to causing cancer. So that's enough for me. That's enough for me to go, well, I want to avoid um, those foods. So easy because um, they're processed packaged foods. And I think probably the, the most common one is canola oil so if you pick up a, you know a product and it doesn't have many ingredients so you're thinking okay this this might be good um, and but if it's got canola oil then just put it straight back on the shelf really let's uh, let's avoid it if we can um, so yeah that's uh, that's the genetically modified take and I think probably um, the other thing to remember if a food is organic that means it does not contain any genetically modified ingredients in it. Uh, but, there's a big but, because manufacturers don't necessarily have to label the foods if they're genetically modified ingredients in there. So that's why it is good to go for organic, because if it's organic, it definitely won't have any genetically modified ingredients in it. So there you go. Now you're all... Uh, all up to date on genetically modified foods and um, if you are a woman and you have had cancer then please I would I'd love to um, have you come over to my group women thriving after cancer where we just strive to be as healthy as possible um, and uh, I will put the link in um, in this um, up there somewhere and uh, I'd love to see you talk to you soon bye